So in the last video, we talked about how we set up Lightroom as far as our catalogs go and the file structure of that. Um, so in this video, um, we're going to talk about the backup process. So another thing that was talked about in the PhotoBiz Exposed Premium Group is how we back everything up, you know, like how we're backing stuff up on location, how we're backing it up when we are in the office, and how we back up the full year of everything. Um, so we're going to talk about that in this video. And if you're not a member of the PhotoBiz Exposed Premium Facebook group, I would highly recommend becoming a member and subscribing to the podcast. It's by far my personal favorite um, Facebook group that I'm a part of. And it's, there's just so much education and awesome people in there that are willing to help out. Um, so you'll definitely learn a ton. All right, so where we're going to start now is like when we're at an actual job. So if we were at, at a wedding, um, what we do is we shoot on dual cards. So we have an exact copy of the first card that we're shooting on and we shoot in RAW. So it's an exact RAW copy of the first one. So if either one of those cards fail, there's always at least one other card um, as a backup as we're shooting throughout the day. Um, and then from there, uh, my assistant will actually back those cards up as we um, as they fill up or if we're transitioning into different parts of the day, say we're going from the getting ready part to maybe into the first look or the ceremony, um, he will actually start backing up all of the cards as we're going throughout the day. Um, really for two reasons. One is like we're protecting ourselves and making multiple copies throughout the day, but we're also just preparing everything for our same day slideshow that we will have ready at the reception. So it's kind of filling two different jobs. So what we like to use is uh, we use these Lexar um, hubs. So he can actually just plug this right into the laptop and we can just dump four cards in at a time. This can be running and maybe he's like second shooting or doing other stuff. He could be doing other stuff while this is just kind of happening in the background. Um, and then everything goes on to our Jeep Tech drives. Um, we personally like these drives just because they're super rugged. Um, they're waterproof, they float. And I don't know, they're just awesome. Not that we go in the water very much, but you know, if you ever did, you've got that option. Um, so yeah, we use two of these, like when we're out on jobs. Um, and the first one is really just the primary drive that we're using for like say Lightroom or Photo Mechanic. And we're just dumping everything into the first drive. And then the other drive is an exact backup copy of the first drive. All right, so now that we're at the reception of the wedding, uh, we have all of the cards backed up until that point. And then we're running our same day slideshow and then we're still shooting the reception and doing our thing. Um, and then after the reception is over, we'll back up all the remaining cards from the night and then we'll make an additional copy to a second GTEC drive. So by the time we're ready to leave, we have um, three to four backups already set. So we have the, um, the card that's in the camera still. Then we'll have our backup cards. Um, after we import them, we put them into these little pocket rocket things. Um, and then we'll have the first GTEC drive and then the second GTEC drive. So now we have four copies um, and we keep the cards on us personally at all times. The cameras always go in the camera bags and those are kept in the car. And then a GTEC drive is kept in um, a, like a messenger bag that I carry. And then a second copy is kept with my assistant. So that way we have four different copies and if we get out of the car and everything is stolen, we still have all of our copies um, and then we're good to go as far as anything failing. All right. So now we're going to move into the office, like when we get back to the office and how we start that process. All right. So now that we're back at the office, we're going to talk about how we uh, go through and import everything and back everything up here. Um, so when we get back from a job, say a wedding in this example, we'll actually import everything off of the main drive that we had on site into Lightroom. So we just kind of plug this into the computer and import it directly from this drive, uh, really for two reasons. One, it's like we don't have to deal with like the memory cards and, and deal with all that. But also two is everything has been um, starred and rated at the wedding for the same day slideshow. So now when I import it off of here directly into Lightroom, those are already saved for me. So like I can go ahead and choose those photos, um, do some quick edits and stuff on them and get those posted up on the social media and, and share it out relatively quickly when I get home. Um, so now we'll kind of break down everything as far as the process goes with the actual drives. All right, so the first thing that we have happening is um, we have what we call our all raw drive. And what this essentially is, is every single raw file that we ever shoot goes onto this drive. 
um, and we never delete any of the raw files off of there. Um, it's just a personal thing, you know, some people like they just delete all their old raw files that they don't use from each job, but we'd like to just keep all of them forever. I mean, storage is cheap, so why not? Um, and then from there, there's actually an all raw backup drive. And what happens with this is every other hour, this will back up this drive. Um, so that way there's always redundancy of that drive. From there, we have our live work drive which this is all of our live work. So this is where we keep Lightroom and Photo Mechanic and all that sort of thing. Um, so the Lightroom catalogs and stuff are actually kept on this live work drive. Um, and we also keep like our business stuff and things like that on there. So anything that's of importance to do with the business is all kind of kept on this drive. And then there's a, um, a live work backup version of that. So every other hour that's being backed up as well. And we kind of space it out for an hour in case we ever make a mistake um, within this drive. Like say we accidentally delete something or maybe a virus got in there or something happens. Um, we have at least an hour before it will be backed up and we can kind of stop that and then fix it with the, the backup version. And then from there we have our final media drive. So the final media drive is um, once we get done editing the jobs, we back up all the chosen JPEGs and um, raw files, and those will kind of get stored on here. Um, and we just kind of have everything broken down by, you know, we have business and personal videos and albums and everything. Um, but say, you know, we did a wedding, um, we kind of have it all broken down between all the JPEG finals and then all the raw finals. And then within there, they're broken down from the parts of the day. Um, that way we can easily find something and just get right to it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how that's broken down with that. Um, and then the same process kind of works with here. So every hour, there's a backup version of this final media drive, which will be this final media backup drive here. So every other hour, that's being backed up as well. Um, and then of course, you know, we have a time machine drive, which is just backing up the full computer operating system. And then every other hour is that time machine drive is also being backed up. And then we have what we call our last few years drive. And what this is, is basically all of the final like JPEGs and raw files um, from the previous years. So maybe we have like 2015, 2014, 2013 on there, just in case we ever need to like pull a photo from a certain year or whatever for maybe a portfolio or I don't know contest or anything else you know that we might need those photos for it's, it's available for us and then from there we have um, the media drive right here so this one's media 2 monthly 2 and basically what this is we have monthly drives that are backing up the final drives and the live work drives. All right, so now that we kind of talked about the basics of the way we have everything set up for backup, um, there's a few other steps that we go through. Um, so we also have a weekly and a monthly backup version of our live work and our um, final media drives. Um, so basically what those do is they just kind of live down here as an external drive. Um, and the weekly drive gets rotated out every single week. So every Monday, I'll replace the drives. Um, so we have like a weekly one drive and a weekly two drive. Um, whichever drive is not being used that week is actually kept on site in a fireproof safe. And then the one that's being used is just plugged in and being used and that gets recorded every other hour. It's automatically being backed up from the original drive. Um, and then the monthly drive is the same thing but it gets swapped out monthly and that's actually kept off site. So whichever one of those is not being used is kept off site in a different location and then the one that's being used is um, backed up every other hour opposite of the weekly drive for the, basically the same reasons that we talked about before just in case like we mess something up and we need to fix something we have a backed up version already and we have plenty of time in between to, to catch the mistake or like if a virus were to get in or something else so all the drives were actually set up as just a bunch of disk is what it's called jbod um, we don't use RAID systems or anything, um, just because we don't think RAID is an actual backup. It can be used as part of a backup process, 
but it's not an actual backup of anything. So we set everything up to be identical copies and we control everything using Carbon Copy Cloner. And we just have all these different schedules set up to where all the drives that are plugged in will automatically run on that set schedule. And then when we disconnect a drive and like reconnect a drive, say for like the weekly or the monthly drives, it automatically will start um, backing up and doing its thing without us having to do anything ever. The last kind of step to everything is we actually store all of these drives also up in the cloud using crash plan and it's taken a ton of time to like get all the stuff backed up and now we're probably at about 99 95 percent um but as we add new stuff say you know we shoot a wedding and then we come in and we drop you know 40 50 gigs of of data on there then that kind of will start backing up on its own um but yeah so all of these drives are all backed up into the cloud. And really that's just the final precaution, you know, like so obviously we have multiple copies of these drives here, but worst case scenario, if everything was destroyed, at least we'd have most of the stuff backed up in the cloud. All right, so now we'll talk about like all the equipment and stuff that we use to make this whole backup process work. Um, one last thing before we start talking about that is I want to mention um, when we were importing everything, um, when we first got back to the office from a job off of this drive, um, into Lightroom, we also will double check all of the cards that we shot on using the Lexar um, card reader um, just to make sure that we did get everything imported at the wedding and we're not missing anything um, and just double checking everything. Um, other than that, um, we'll kind of just talk about what we use as far as equipment and stuff goes for the backup stuff. Um, when we first started all this, we were using multiple hard drives, so we had like two or three hard drives, you know, that were backups of everything and then over the years we kept kind of growing the backup process and eventually we had like this 10 external hard drives maybe 15 that were just taking up all kinds of room you know like they were using multiple usb cables and power supplies and it was just a huge mess so yeah we switched over to these new um enclosures from gtech they're the gtech studios i believe um where each one of these will actually hold four different drives um so that's where we keep our live work drive um the Time Machine drive, our Final Media drive, and our All Raw drive, and then the backup versions of those are also kept in here. Um, for the weekly backups and the monthly backups, those are actually kept just on our external hard drives down here. Um, that way we can easily just kind of swap those in and out, and when we're not using them, you know, they go off site or they go into the fireproof safe. All right, so now we come to the end of the year, and we're gonna make backups of everything for the end of the year. So what we do is we have, um, two external hard drives that will be um, a copy of our um, our final media drive where we keep all of the finalized JPEGs and all the finalized raw files. Um, we'll make a final version of that and then we'll also make a final version of our all raw drive so we have every single raw file that we shot that year. Um, and then from there we'll make a duplicate copy of each one of those drives. Um, so. The first drive will live here on site in a fireproof safe, and then the second one will be living off site at a different location. And those will just be like the final year end 2016 um, drives. And then we'll start the whole process over in January. So I guess that kind of wraps everything up. Um, I'm sure we probably missed a couple things. There's just so much that is kind of uh, involved in this whole backup process. But um, and I guess it could seem a little extreme that what we go through, but the idea behind everything is, is like we want to have two to three copies minimum of every single thing that we do from starting at the job site all the way through the very end of the year. So we're covered all the time. Like you hear these horror stories on Facebook and everywhere else about, you know, photographers leaving their equipment in the car and it gets stolen and they literally lost everything, sometimes multiple weddings and multiple jobs or um, people have like this one hard drive and like that hard drive falls on the ground and now the backup's gone. Um, or they have nothing at all, you know, I don't know. It's kind of crazy living on the edge like that. But yeah, so we're probably a little over crazy with backing everything up, but we just wanted a full solid backup solution that protects against everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a few things. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave comments and I'll be glad to answer your questions. And then we'll also have links to all of the products and stuff that we use um, in the links as well.